Mm, make sure I don't have anything stuck in my beard. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, man, felt like to get on. Uh, it's been like minus 25. Well, it got down to minus 25 last night, and that's actually the coldest I've actually seen it since we've moved up here back in 2017. Uh, minus 20 seen that a few times but man last three weeks we've been having sub-zero uh at night every night and uh went with a went without a furnace for about what five days um survived that with just the wood stove and we're actually firing up our oven to let it run for four or five hours and just simulated cooking a turkey uh, <laughs> I actually did cook a few things, you know, uh, while we were at it. Um, but, uh, yeah, minus 25 and it's minus one right now. So I'm a little bundled up. I actually, uh, took some blue painters tape and put a hand warmer on the back of my phone <laughs> just to get a little more, uh, a little more heat to that, to record this. Um, man, let's, let's just pray and, and start out with that. It's always good. And, uh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just, man, we adore you. We love you. We, you're so gracious, Father, for all that you are and all that you have made us to be through Jesus and, and all the many blessings and provision that we have, Lord, that, that you promise us that you'll provide when we're all in with you. And we thank you, Lord, for your word and for the heads up on what's to come on this planet and what's getting ready to go down. And, uh, we just, we're here, Lord, to, to, you know, uh, talk about these times and, and search your word, Lord, for, you know, what we should be doing and how we should be preparing and, and, you know, how we should be handling, um, this situation that you're allowing, you're allowing what's going on in the world to happen and you foretold everybody well in advance the words of Paul could not be any more alive than they are right now and man just in everybody else Lord that that you shared your prophecy with and 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 told that uh, hey this is the way it's gonna gonna wind up we're, we're just looking for you Lord to be with us and um, keep us sound keep us safe keep us keep our thinking just as spiritually clear and clean as possible, Lord, on how to deal with this. And I had a buddy of mine just tell me that, uh, you know, we just need to ride this out. And, 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 you know, it's like riding a Harley Davidson or, or a Jap bike, which are all great too. Um, you know, um, you're, you're the, you're our, right. you're our, 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 our bike. I mean, your word is, and all we have to do is ride it and, and ride it out right now. And we're just seeking you Lord on, on how to do that and how to encourage it, one another to be bold and confess you and these times and not be uh, timid or afraid and, and to stand up for you. Like many, 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 many men throughout history have, have always done. And, and so uh, we're here at the finish. We're here at the, at the end. We're here at what's going to happen next major. And that's, uh, you sending Jesus to get us. And we're just asking you, Lord, to be with us and help us and lead and guide and protect us, uh, and show us how we should, uh, should act during these times. We pray all these things in Jesus precious name. Amen. So, um, I know a lot of people are, Kind of holding their tongue. I've been one of them. I'm, I'm trying to be firm, but at the same time, uh, not say things that would get me booted or censored or taken down. Um, don't want to fall on my sword, and my sword is the Word of God. And and you know, um, um not to water anything down, but man, we just got to be so very careful on what to say and what not to say and how to say it. And, uh, you know, I'm not caring. I don't care about, you know, being demonetized or any of that stuff. Or, I mean, it's, you know, 
uh, kind of peanuts anyway. It's not a big deal. And, and if it, even if it were millions of dollars, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to compromise or deny Christ for that either. Um, so, you know, I'm just a lay guy. I'm just a regular, normal, average guy. And, and, and we're all, um, we're all having to make it, uh, uh, through right now in a, in a very, very, very unprecedented time and especially in our country. And, um, you know, the state of Texas is being very, very bold and, and, uh, the other red states are standing behind them and, and man, it's just, um, you know, what are they going to do next? I mean, um, there's a, there's a lot of planning and a lot of preparation that, that they've been doing. We got sucker punched in 2020 on a couple of different things. And, um, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm, I'm, my guard's up, I'm not letting it down. And I, I really don't think that, and this is not just in our country, but worldwide, these people are not going to give up what they stole and they're just not. And, and, um, you know, what they're going to pull next, um, it, it, there's nothing that I can imagine. I mean, there's all kinds of scenarios that you can come up with. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 they're not going to give up what they've taken and, and God let them take what they took and it's going to just progressively become, more and more and more uh, perilous. And just to, you know, that I've said this before in another previous video, what does that mean? And, and what is the definition of that? And um, only God knows how far he's going to let them go um, before he says enough's enough. And so what do we do in the meantime? Well, you know, love one another and, you know, fruits of the spirit and be patient and be gentle and be kind and but at the same time you know be firm stand our ground confess christ and what's right confess what's you know god's word says and and the principles that our country was founded on let a lot of other still free countries um uh you know uh base their governments on and 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 so there's a lot of those countries that are, you know, disarmed and uh, severely locked down in 2020 and controlled. And anybody that uh, contested that, man, they they threatened and jailed and and framed, um, you know, to to push their um, their agenda, their will, they, you know. Every, they all think that a one world government is the way to go and and that the way that communism act, you know operates is the way to go and I mean, there's so many people that are that are buying into it just like it it's happened time and time again throughout history and there's a certain amount of people that just aren't going along with it and aren't going to buy it and we're free we have inalienable rights as, as human beings that are God given. And, and, um, we're going to do whatever we have to, to protect those. And, and so, um, you know, um, Texas has a right to defend its border and the, and the safety of its people and the other States. And, and, you know, um, um, this ain't over yet. Um, boy, it'd, it'd be a good excuse for, uh, you know, um, to start a civil war in our country. Um, I, I mean, and, and not for, not for the conservative people, but for the people on the left, um, and, and not even have an election this year. And, and boy, I, I just, You know, again, tre treading on some thin ice here, um, um, but you know, it, it, not accusing them of doing anything. We'll we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But let me let me just share this, and and here's why I'm 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 on here. God's telling me, um, don't lay your guard down, stay stay strapped, and and you know, on guard, ready, um, have some supplies, and have some backup.
plans and, and, you know, be ready to, you know, uh, take care of yourself and, and your family and, and, you know, and, and just like, like riding a Harley, just ride this out. And we're, we're on this, on this journey, this, this, we're, we're living out exactly what God planned and, and predestined and told everybody from the get go was going to happen. And we are right there. And, and so we're just riding this out and we're, we're, uh, you know, not trying to crash and burn. We're, we're paying attention to what's going on. We're being cautious. We're being careful and, and, you know, uh, not, not taking chances while we're taking chances right now. Um, you know, and, you know, I used to, I had that same philosophy when I was flying airplanes. I don't go take chances while I'm taking chances. And so I'm not going to take chances now at, 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 you know, while, while we're taking chances of what's going to happen in this world, just trying to be calm, cool, collected. And we'd also talked about this consistent, um, with people and consistent in our lives, consistent in our relationship with God and, and consistent in, you know, shepherding, uh, those of, uh, that God has put, you know, in our charge, you know, my family and my wife and, uh, the, the friends that I have that, that listen to what I have to say or, or, you know, and, and so we're all supposed to help one another, to bear each other's burdens, to, to, you know, really put them first and listen to them, pray for them and, and some, just, you know, being real and being honest. And, and so being able to talk about some of these things, uh, you know, to be prepared for in case stuff gets bad. Like I said, don't know what perilous means. God only knows what that means. And so, you know, using our heads and using God's word, um, you know, to try and put two and two together right now, you know, nowhere that I've been able to find where, you know, Jesus directly addressed, okay, when you see all these signs, you know, the time is nigh. Look up, look up. Um, I, I know this, that, man, I have never uh, sought the Lord as hard as I'm seeking him now. And, and it's not hard to seek him. It's just that every day, man, I, I, I'm making sure that I'm plugged in and I'm, um, educating myself as to what the word says and, and trying to get as much knowledge about prophecy as I possibly can, you know, and God was talking about, you know, to, to really pay attention to the prophecy and to, to, you know, not take it lightly, take it seriously. And, and so, um, it's not hard to seek God every day, but man, it's like, and, and he tells us, you know, to walk with him in the cool of the day and, and look for Jesus in the clouds like he's coming today. And so, I mean, that's solid advice. And and it, it, and it, it was advice that our ancestors a hundred years ago were taking. They were acting like Jesus could show up here at any time. You were going to be accountable for your behavior and, and you know, to, to love one another and all the other fruits of the spirit. So it's no different. And, but we, we are, God is like, he turned the heat up to where I think, I know he's drawn so many people back close to him. So many people that, I mean, in, including me, I thought I was close to God. I thought I was following him. I thought I was doing a good job, but man, I'm, I'm, man, no, no. And, and every day I, it's, that goes by, I just realize just, man, <laughs> how much pride I've had and how much ambition and selfish things. And, and, and but, you know, I, I, I thought I was doing it all for good and righteous reasons, but, you know, but anyway, um, you know, let's, we're, we're trying to help one another get through and channels like this, hopefully are encouraging. And, and I know there's a lot of other, uh, folks out there, just lay people, normal everyday folks that God's called to, to, to speak for him that are, are doing an outstanding job and we're walking the line of telling everybody, Hey man, hang tough, be ready. And, you know, um, and at the same time, just, you know, uh, standing up for what's God and, and, you know, what, what's of him and what his word says and the principles of that. And, and, you know, we're, we're all being called names and being accused of being, racist and homophobe and bigots and you name it 
accused of being violent. I haven't seen any violence against any LGBTQ, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, V people. I've, I've never, I've never seen anybody be violent towards them. I mean, um, I, I don't hate those people. I don't, I don't hate, um, no, they, they, they have every right as a human being to make their own decisions and make their own choices and live however they want. Um, I, I have no problem with that. Um, um, I, I respect their choice to, I mean, this is supposedly a free country. They, and, and they're, you know, that's, that's you. I mean, if you choose that, that's you. Um, all at the same time, you know, we have those same, freedom, the same freedom to make our own choices and decisions and to pick what we want to be like and how we want to live. And, and, and so why aren't, I mean, we're respecting them. Why aren't they respecting us? And instead we, when we don't accept what they want to do and we don't approve of them pushing that on our children, or we don't want that in our lives, then they call us names. And, they accuse us of being haters and homophobic or, and, and, and then accuse us of being violent. I mean, it's just, you know, this is the whole, what are those that present what's evil for good and for what good is, for what's good is evil. Um, you know, what's bitter for sweet and what's sweet for bitter and, so, I mean, we're not doing anything wrong. Um, we're, we're just holding true to our own personal choices and our freedom to make those choices, but that's being attacked. And, and being a Christian and following God's word and following God's law and, and, you know, wanting our country to follow those laws that were founded on biblical principles i mean uh, we're we're not doing anything wrong and and you know us wanting people vetted before they come into our country and want them to go through the real process of doing that and i mean it, it's like what if you went to the airport and there was no tsa no screening you just uh, you know you just got on board i mean would everybody be happy with that no and 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 so same is true with the border. I mean, who are these people? Where do they come from? I mean, you hear all these stories. They're letting all these people out of their jails and of their mental institutions. And I mean, just, I mean, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. But I mean, and so when you start, what are they going to do? I heard the, I've heard nine million people in the last three years have entered our country unvetted, and six point two million of them came through Texas. I mean, it's I mean, yeah, we're being invaded. What are they going to use these people for? I mean, they're they're doing it in the in the name of oh, we're just trying to help. We just want to help these poor people. Or, you know, I mean. They're they're not even helping the poor people here that have problems, the homeless and the drug people, drug addicts, and I mean they're in they're like enabling them, giving them syringes and making it not illegal um, if you're caught doing drugs in public. Uh, I mean it's just it's opposite land, and I'm I'm going to use that word and instead of. Um, you know, clown world, it's opposite land. It's, it's, it's what's evil is being presented as good and what's good is being torn down as evil. And so, but let's, let's just talk about, we're, we are at the end of the 2000 years of the church age. There was 2000 years from, you know, uh, Adam and Eve to Noah. And then the 2000 years from Noah to Jesus for the Jews and, and, now the 2,000 years of church age from Jesus till now. 
And then we've got another thousand years of the millennial reign. And so we're right at the end of the church age. All the math is adding up and all the prophecy is adding up. All the signs are there and we're looking up. Uh, all the earthquakes and the pestilences and, you know, the birthing pains. I mean, the earthquake, I mean, the storms, the weather, I mean, everything. It, it's the way people are acting and and it it's going down just like, just like, God said it would, and, and like I said, uh, the words of Paul and everybody else that spoke about things to come, what we're looking at right now is has never been more alive and true than it is right now. Everything is aligned. Everything, everything. There's not. There's nothing that's not mentioned. I mean, it's it's happening. It's all there. It, all of it. All of it. And so, yeah, we're looking up, and uh, so you know, what do we do in the meantime? Um, I'm going to stand up for God. I'm going to stand up for Jesus. I'm going to stand up for God's word and I'm going to be firm. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, it's, it's like the equivalent of a three-year-old throwing a temper tantrum and then you just give in, okay, here, eat the whole gallon of ice cream before your dinner. You know, I mean, you know, not going to do it. And, and, you know, you know, just not, not going to give in. And, and so many people have just given in and, you know, turned the other cheek and, you know, they're totally taking advantage of, of our good nature and our being relaxed and being, we are tolerant. God says, don't hate the sinner, hate the sin. I don't hate LGBTQ people. I don't hate people wanting to get out of a third world country. I don't hate them at all. I understand why these third world people want to come here. I totally get that. I've seen the world and I know it's out there. Um, it sucks. And, 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 and as far as the LGP, T, Q, R, S, T, U, V stuff, that's your decision. That's fine. Go for it. But you're not going to, I'm, I'm not going to allow you to spread that to my kids. Um, I've got one, but to, to, I mean, I'm, I'm going to protect, um, children against that. I don't care whose child they are. Um, that's just wrong. Okay. If you, you want to make that decision when you're adult, then go right ahead. But you, you're, you're not going to groom them for that kind of a lifestyle. Not, not, not on in my family or on my watch or whoever has given me authority to watch their kid. Um, so, you know, we're just protecting, just like I wouldn't let them play with a rattlesnake. I mean, it's just, it's, this is not good for you and it's going to hurt you. Uh, and, and, and so, um, you know, um, it could physically hurt you being that way. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going around that you could catch. Um, you know, I, I thought that the world had got a taste of, you know, the wages of sin is death when the AIDS scene came around and, and got a bunch of them, but apparently not. There's still still at it. So anyway, um, that's fine. You want to be that way, go be that way, but don't shove it down my throat. And, 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 and if you, you know, um, you, you think that the one world government and the communism is cool. That's your choice, but you're not going to force me to do that. And fortunately God be the Holy spirit is still down here restraining all of this evil and we still have our freedom and, and, you know, um, we, we can voice our opinion and, and, you know, we still have the freedom of speech. Um, but you know, we have to be careful because of, uh, a couple of stupid laws I got put on the book about these monopolies that, um, are, are, you know, everything I'm doing is being backed up on, 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 uh, rumble. Um, and if I, get kicked off of here, then I'll just start posting there. And then wherever else I can still, you know, uh, say what I want to say when I want to say it. But anyway, everybody just, um, you know, hold on. Um, I'm, I'm desperately looking for God's advice on how to deal with what we're dealing with and what to say and what not to say. And, you know, um, but at the same time, still, um, warning people, Hey man, be prepared. Um, as best you can, be prepared. Um, things may get worse before they get better. And, and um, 
Um, don't know. Not going to speculate. I'm not going to put God's, you know, put words in God's mouth. Man, my mustache is freezing over. So uh, it is a little bit cold. Um, my hands are still hanging in there. Um, my toes are doing good. I got my Canadian made uh, uh, snow boots on. My baffins. These things are great. Um, uh, but, um, you know, everybody just hang tight and uh, stick to the word of God and, and listen to godly men and uh, Amir Shafadi and, and Jack Hibbs and, um, oh shoot, I'm brain farting, the, the guy out in Hawaii and, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of good solid people. Tucker Carson, he was up in Canada, I don't know if you guys saw that, he just said it like it was. And there was nothing hateful about what he said. There was nothing violent about what he said. But that's immediately what the Canadian government started screaming. You know, oh, he's vile. He's for you know promoting violence and he's hates. You know, he didn't say anything that was violent or hates. He just said, "This is my opinion," and and compared to what values we have, and and all based on scripture. Um, on God's word, and, you know, they're calling us, you know, the evil. Um, so it, it's, you know, it's opposite land and, and yeah, what's evil is being, is being presented as good and what's good is being presented as evil, just like God foretold us it would be, but I'm just going to stand up for them and, and I'm not going to waver and, and I'm not going to budge. So, um, God bless everybody, and uh, it, I'll, I'm going to post my email in the comments. If you need prayer, want to talk, want to visit about the Lord, I'm just going to share with you what I know about Him and just be as honest. And, and I've got a few people ask me some questions, and I just tell them the straight-up answer and never heard back from them again. So, you know, I, I, God's Word's God's Word, man, and there's there's no shadowing the fence, and it's either right or it's wrong. There's, and... and you know, um, so, but, you know, I, I keep saying this, so I'm going to say it again. God's cooler than you think um, about forgiving this stuff. And he is, he is more patient than you can ever imagine. He has more mercy and grace and love for you than you would ever, ever, ever know. And we won't even, we, we won't even scratch the surface of that until we're up there with him. And we, we really see who he is and, and, and are with Jesus and with God and are in heaven and and then only then will we truly know the extent of of who he is and, and what he's done for us through his son and what he's been trying to do for us through his word so God bless everybody and um, we'll talk to you later